గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ది రిఫ్రెషర్ క్రమ్ ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఆన్ ఏపీసీసీఏ రూల్స్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ వన్ పార్ట్ ఫోర్ పెనాలిటీస్ అండ్ డిస్ప్లినరీ అథారిటీస్ ఇన్ రూల్ నెంబర్ నైన్ పెనాలిటీస్ ది ఫాలోయింగ్ పెనాలిటీస్ మే ఫర్ గుడ్ అండ్ సఫిషియంట్ రీజన్స్ అండ్ యాజ్ హీర్ ఇన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ బి ఇంపోజ్ అన్ ఏ గవర్నమెంట్ సర్వెంట్ నేమ్లీ మైనర్ పెనాలిటీస్ సెన్స్యూర్ విత్ హోల్డింగ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రమోషన్ withholding of increments of pay without cumulative effect suspension where has already been suspended under rule 8 to the extent considered necessary reduction to a lower stage in the time scale of pay for a period of not exceeding 3 years without cumulative effect and not adversely affecting his pension major penalties withholding of increments of pay with cumulative effect save as provided for a in class 5b reduction to a lower stage in the time scale of pay for a specified period with further directions as to whether or not the government servant will earn increments of pay during the period of such reduction and whether on the expiry of such period the reduction will or will not have the effect of postponing the future increments of his pay reduction to lower time scale of pay reduction to a lower grade reduction to a post of service which shall ordinarily be a bar to the promotion of the government servant to the time scale of pay grade post or service from which he was reduced with or without further directions regarding conditions of restoration to the grade or post or service from which the government servant was reduced under his seniority and pay on such restoration to that grade post or service compulsory retirement removal from service which shall not be a disqualification for future employment under the government dismissal from service which shall ordinarily be a disqualification for future employment under the government provided that in every case in which the charge of acceptance from any person of any gratification other than legal remuneration as a motive or reward for doing or for bearing to do any to do any official act he established the penalty mentioned in clause 9 or clause 10 shall be imposed provided further that in any exceptional case and for special reasons to be recorded in writing any other penalty may be imposed explanation the following shall not amount to a penalty within the meaning of this rule namely non promotion whether in a substantiative or officiating capacity of a government servant reversion of a government servant from a department in which he is on deputation to his parent department replacement of the services of a government servant stoppage or postponement of increment of a government servant on account of extension of probation under rule 26 in part 2 of the andhra pradesh state and subordinate service rules reversion of a government servant appointed on probation to any other service grade or post to his permanent service grade or post during or at the end of the period of probation reversion of a government servant officiating in a higher post to a lower post on the ground that he is considered to be unsuitable for such higher service or in on any administrative ground unconnected with his conduct withholding of increments of pay of a government servant for his failure to pass any department examination termination of the services of a government servant appointed on probation during or at the end of the period of probation discharge of a government servant engaged under contract in accordance with the terms of his contract discharge of a government servant appointed otherwise than under contract to hold a temporary appointment on the expiry expiration of the period of appointment compulsory retirement of a government servant in accordance with the provisions relating to his superannuation or retirement rule 10 other penalties in addition to the penalties specified in rule 9 and not withstanding anything contained therein the following penalties may for good and sufficient reasons and as here and after provided be imposed namely fine on a member of the andhra pradesh last trade service and on a person holding any of the posts specified in appendix 1 to these rules 
suspension for a period of not exceeding 15 days on fast guards. Types of cases for imposing major penalties. Cases in which there is a reasonable ground to believe that a penal offence has been committed by a government servant, but the evidence forthwith forthcoming is not sufficient for prosecution in a court of law. Example, possession of disproportionate assets, obtaining or attempting to obtain illegal gratification, misappropriation of government property, money or stores, obtaining or attempting to obtain any valuable thing or pecuniary advantage without consideration or for a consideration which is not adequate, falsification of government records, gross irregularity or negligence in discharge of official duties with a dishonest motive, misuse of official position or power for personal gain, disclosure of secret or confidential information even though it does not fall strictly within the scope of the Official Secrets Act, false claims on the government like TA claims, reimbursement claims, etc. Abscanding from duty continuously more than a year. Rule 11. Disciplinary authorities in respect of state services. The principal chief conservator of forests may impose on assistant conservator of forests any of the penalties specified in clauses 1, 2 and 4 of Rule 9. Without prejudice to the foregoing provisions, Every head of the department may impose on a member of the state services under his control the penalty specified in Clause 3 of Rule 9, except in the case of each member holding a post immediately below his rank. And every head of department declared to be the appointing authority may, be, may impose on a member of the state service holding a post at first level or at second level under his control any of the penalties specified in clauses. 1 to 8 of Rule 9. Rule 12. Government's power to impose penalties on members of state services. Notwithstanding anything in Rule 11, the government may impose any of the penalties specified in Rule 9 on members of the state service. Rule 13. Authority is competent to suspend members of service, state service. The authority which may place under suspension under Rule 8 on members of the state services mentioned below. In forest department, the principal chief conservator of forests may place under suspension an assistant conservator of forests. Other members of the state services holding initial gazetted post. Other members of the state services holding second level gazetted post. The regional authority, where no regional authority exists, the head of the department, head of the department concerned. Rule 14. Disciplinary authorities and authorities competent to suspend in respect of subordinate services. The authority which may place a member of subordinate service under suspension under Rule 8 or impose on such member the penalty specified in Clause 1 of Rule 10, rule 10 and Clauses 1 and Rule 6, 4 of Rule 9 shall be his immediate superior gazetted officer or where the appointing authority for such member is a non gazetted officer such officer or any authority to which he is subordinate. The authority which may impose on a member of a subordinate service, the penalty specified in clause 3 of rule 9 shall be the officer next above the immediate superior visit officer, provided that the appointing authority or any authority to which it is subordinate may also impose the aforesaid penalty, provided also that in the case of members of belong members Belonging to the categories of officers specified in Appendix 2 to these rules, the authority which may impose any of the penalties specified in Clauses 1, 3, 4 of Rule 9 or place under suspension under Rule 8 shall be as specified thereof against each such category. The authority which may impose on a member of subordinate service the penalty specified in Clause 2, 5 to 9 of Rule 9 shall be the appointing authority or any authority to which it is subordinate, provided that in case of the members of these services specified in Appendix 3 to these rules, the authority which may impose any of the penalties specified in Rule 9 and clauses 1 of Rule 10 shall be as specified thereof against each. Rule 15 Power of appointing authority, etc. 
to suspend members of state and subordinate services. Notwithstanding anything in these rules, the appointing authority or any authority to which the subordinate, including government, may also place under suspension under Rule 8 the member of a service to whom these rules apply. Disciplinary authority in case of promotion or transfer of a member of a service and a reversion or reduction therefrom. Rule 16. Where on promotion or transfer or in any other service, state or subordinate, no penalty shall be imposed upon him in respect of his work or conduct before such promotion or transfer except by authority competent to impose the penalty upon a member of the service in the latter post where a person has been reverted to reverted or reduced from a state service to a subordinate service or from any service to any other no penalty shall be imposed upon him in respect of his work or conduct in the previous post that is from which he was reverted or reduced except by an authority competent to impose the penalty upon a member of such service rule 18 a lower authority not to reopen case, higher authority can exercise power. 1. Where in any case, a higher authority has imposed or declined to impose a penalty under Rule 11, 12 or 14, a lower authority shall have no jurisdiction to proceed under these rules in respect of the same case. Where in any case, a lawyer authority has imposed a penalty or exonerated a member of service, it shall not debar a higher authority from exercising his powers under these rules in respect of the same case. The order of such higher authority shall supersede any order passed by a lawyer authority in respect of the same case. Rule 19. Authority to institute proceedings. The government or any authority empowered by it general or special order may institute disciplinary proceedings against any government servant, direct a disciplinary authority to institute disciplinary proceedings against any government servant on whom that disciplinary authority is competent to impose under these rules any of the penalties specified in Rule 9 or Rule 10. A disciplinary authority competent under these rules to impose any of the penalties specified in clauses 1 to 5 of Rule 9 or in Rule 10 may institute disciplinary proceedings against any government servant for the imposition of any of the penalties specified in clauses 6 to 10 of Rule 9, notwithstanding that such disciplinary authority is not competent under these rules to impose any of the latter penalties. Why to institute a disciplinary proceedings? Do's To observe certain rules and discipline in the charge of duties, either written or unwritten, Expected to maintain absolute dignity, integrity, maintain devotion to duty, do nothing which is unbecoming of a government servant and to ensure purity, integrity and efficiency. Don'ts. Improper behavior, violation of definite procedure rules, cross negligence, perverse conduct or absence of good conduct. Violation of the accepted standards of morality, decency, decorum and propriety. Conduct unbecoming is left to the discretion of the government. Past misconduct is also punishable. Contravention of the ideal master son and servant relationship. Acts, conducts and commissions which amount to misconduct. Act or conduct prejudicial, likely to be prejudicial to the interest and reputation of the government. Act, conduct inconsistent incompatible with the due peaceful discharge of duty of the government. Act or conduct of the government servant makes it unsafe for the employer to retain him in service. Infidelity, unfaithfulness, dishonesty, untrustworthiness, theft, fraud or dishonesty. Taking or giving bribes or any illegal gratification or demanding or offering bribes or any illegal gratification. Possession of pecuniary grains, pecuniary resources or property disproportionate to the unknown sources of income by the employee or on his behalf by any other person which the employee cannot satisfactory account for. Furnishing false information regarding name, age, father's name, qualification, ability or previous service 
or any other matter germane to the employment at the time of employment or during the course of employment. Falsification of government records. Cross irregularity or negligence in the discharge of official duties with a dishonest motive. Misuse of official position or power for personal gain. Disclosure of secret or confidential information even though it does not fall strictly within the scope of Official Secrets Act. False claim on the government like TA claims, reimbursement claims. Commission of criminal offense like demand and accept of illegal gratification. Possession of disproportionate assets, forgery, cheating, abuse of official position with a view to obtaining pecuniary advantage for self or any other persons or Irregularities reflecting adversely on the integrity of the public servant or lapses involving any of the following gross negligence, recklessness, failure to report to competent authorities, exercise of discretion, power without or in excess of powers jurisdiction, cause of undue loss or a con concomitant gain to an individual or a set of individuals, a party or parties. Flagrant violation of systems and procedures. 